of marketing for founders. My name is Adish Venkopalan and I am the founder and CEO for AJ and AJ Media. Today I have with me I am Suresh Devakaram, I am the founder of Digital Uncovered. In today's episode, we are going to discuss what are some of the skill sets, potential traits and experience that a founder should look for in a potential CMO hire. Since Ajish has worked in the field before and he has uh, had several discussions with founders in the space, so I wanted to understand what your experience has been uh, when it comes to uh, what traits and skills founders should look for in a potential CMO hire and when they're trying to set up the marketing team for the first time. Yeah, interesting subject, Suraj, and I hope our viewers will find it uh, interesting uh, and a great learning experience here in this hour. Are you a founder or do you own a startup in India or anywhere in the world? What kind of skills do you really look for in a potential CMO? Please try to comment on the box below and, and we will try to address and answer some of your queries for you. Uh, let me begin by saying that you know uh, marketing is no longer traditional as the way it was about 25 30 years back uh, it has evolved and today's modern marketing i believe it's a subset of four different uh, subjects all together number 1 creativity number 2 consumer psychology number 3 technology and number 4 is data and analytics why why do i say so and why are these skills very important let me try and articulate that why is creativity important for a cmo uh, is fundamentally because let's assume that you you put together brand guideline a cmo should probably understand color psychology and the color schemes of your brand you should understand fundamentally the fonts and the different font families and why they they should use a certain font family for certain brands now why is it important for a cmo to have a certain idea of creativity only then a CMO is able to do number one agency briefing or is able to uh, uh, to groom his team properly if a CMO does not understand the creative aspect of it he may not be good at briefing the agency and the agency's output is going to go for a toss right number two consumer psychology any CMO should answer this question what's in it for me as a consumer if you were, you were to offer me an XYZ product or a service, why should I really buy that product? So from a psychology perspective, a CMO should definitely be able to answer what's in it for you or what's in it for me uh, from a consumer standpoint. Why should a consumer really buy your product? And only a consumer psychology uh, as a subject should, should will be able to address this question for you, right? Number three, technology. Once you've got through with your creativity and consumer psychology, probably then you have roughly an idea as to how to craft or to create your campaign. Now this campaign has to be executed using technology. Now it can be Google AdWords, it could be a programmatic platform, or it could be your YouTube, or it could be your simple organic search engine optimization campaigns. It can be any of those things. Without fundamental knowledge of technology, a CMO will not be able to understand and guide his team as to how to get this campaign executed and therefore understanding of technology is very very critical for today's CMO and number four data once a campaign has been launched it's 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 out there in the market a CMO should be able to consistently monitor the data coming out of the campaign and use that data make meaningful inferences out of the data and optimize the campaign if you can't measure you can't really do it but is that all? Let me quickly summarize, you know, I'm, I'm specifically focusing only on the skills that one uh, a founder should look for in a CMO. Number one, creativity. Number two, consumer psychology. Number three, technology. And number four, data. But is that all? No. What stage of the business is your business in? Are you Series A funded? Are you a pre-seed pre funded company? Or are you a seed funded company? Are you at Series C funding? That again matters. Uh, not not just that, you know. What are the other experiences or uh, industry uh, traits that one should look for in a potential CMO? Let's quickly jump into Suraj and, and understand some of these questions. But if you do have a comment in any of those areas, please feel free to comment there, and we will come back to you with answers for these questions. So when you are looking for a potential CMO hire or setting up the marketing function for the first time, there are three other critical dimensions that you as a founder has to evaluate. The first dimension is the stage of business. 
Now, when you when it comes to stage of business, you have different stages that a business goes through, goes through. Seed stage, Series A, Series B, Series C. So you can primarily break this down into two stages. So the first is pre-revenue, right? When you are in pre-revenue stage, you are looking at product market fit. You are looking at uh, how can I build this product or service out there in the market, right? You are looking at uh, the GTM strategy that has to be used. Uh, so when you are looking at pre-revenue stage, uh, you need a CMO who has uh, some experience in building a business which has been in pre-revenue stage. But once you reach revenue and profitability, you're looking at different uh, aspects of uh, what the role can do. Uh, it could be about scaling revenue and profitability. It could, have, could, it could be about adding new products and services, or it could be about uh, entering new international markets. So for instance, you are currently selling uh, as a software company in India, but you are looking to enter North American and European market. So then you would look for somebody who has previously done that in one of their previous roles, right? So the CMO that you want to bring on board uh, also has to correspond to the stage of business that you are in, which is very, very critical. The second important dimension that you should look as a founder uh, is, the, is the dimension of experience. So what a lot of companies do when they hire somebody is they look for recency effect. Uh, if let's say for instance, you are a company in the conversational AI space, uh, you would look at hiring a CMO, a potential CMO from one of your competitors, somebody who understands the space really, really well. Now, why is that important? What you're essentially trying to do is you're trying to cut down the amount of time that person will take to learn about the industry, right? Which is very, very critical because if the person doesn't understand your business and the space you operate in, he or she will take a lot more time to get successful when it comes to marketing. Uh, but there are exceptions to this rule. So for instance, you're trying to build a new category which doesn't exist, right? Uh, or you're trying to do something different in your category. Uh, so you don't want to hire somebody from uh, your competitors or somebody who has worked in the space before because that person will also come with a lot of baggage and expectations and that person will also have preconceived notions on what works and what doesn't work. So in that case, you want to get somebody on board who comes with a clean slate, who doesn't come with some sort of expectations on how the category or the industry sort of operates. And that also gives you a lot of leeway to uh, iterate and experiment and do things in a new way. The third and most critical dimension that you should look at and which is often ignored is cultural fitment. Now, cultural fitment is very, very important. It's, I would say it's more important than skill sets and experience because what happens a lot of times is that you get somebody really, really smart, right? But there is no alignment in terms of culture. And uh, what happens is three to six months down the line, uh, the entire marketing plan sort of derails. Uh, so what the founder essentially has to do is outline the values that the company has and make sure that the person who's coming on board uh, is aligned to the values that the, the company already has. So for instance, you as a company could have been self-funded, right? And frugality is a core value that you might be practicing. But then you get a CMO who has worked in a very, very large company and who has a lot of marketing spends that he's handling. So what will happen is that this person may or may not practice frugality as a value, right? Because he's, he's always worked in companies where he had a lot of funding, right? And then the, then the, then the, uh, the person who's coming on board has to adapt to the scenario and he may or may not be able to adapt to the scenario, right? So cultural fitment, understanding the core values of the company becomes very, very critical in that case. Uh, also, uh, the other aspect that you should look from a uh, cultural alignment perspective is that whether you as a founder has a point of view on marketing. Now, why is this very important? Because uh, if you don't have a point of view on marketing, which is you look at brands in the, in the category that you operate or outside of your space to understand what is the kind of marketing that you like, right? Whether you like the, are there any campaigns, are there any advertising campaigns that you looked at uh, and you really liked, right? So you as a founder should have a point of view on marketing. And this is very, very important. Uh, because the, the CMO will always have a point of view on marketing based on his experience, years of experience working in different industries, right? So whether the point of view that you have and the point of view that the marketing head or the CMO that you're hiring has is completely aligned because that is where a difference in opinion comes in, right? So you as a person might value design and aesthetics a lot, but the, the CMO that you've gotten probably doesn't have a lot of experience with design and aesthetics, right? So it alludes to some of the points that uh, Ajish mentioned when it comes to 
the skill sets that you should look at when you are hiring somebody so these are three critical dimensions uh, that you should look at uh, the stage of the business the experience that the person you are trying to bring on board has and the the final uh, stage is cultural al alignment which is very very important because uh, this uh, not aligning uh, not getting somebody on board who is culturally aligned can derail the entire process of getting a cmo on board <laughs> suraj i think uh, this was uh, too much of information dissemination for all the founders out there watching uh, we are sure that you will have a lot of questions uh, feel free to ask your questions on the comment box below don't forget to subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that as and when we upload a new content you get a notification on your phone or your inboxes um it's time for us to conclude this episode but we will be back again with yet another exciting episode of marketing for founders this is ajish venugopal and the founder and ceo for hnvg media signing off and along with me i have this is suraj divakaran founder of digital uncovered thank you for watching until next time goodbye